fighting twice in one night was the toughest thing I ever done athletically in my life. When I did it, I fought two of the best fighters in the world. Chuck Liddell was a big star in UFC. At the end of the first round, I'll never forget this, Chuck gave me one of the most devastating body shots I've ever taken in my life. The promoter told me, like, show the world that pride fighters are number one. You know, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do what you say. And that's what you call a ground and pound! What a knockout! Van Lee Silver was one of those guys that was at the top of his game, back in pride, having lost a fight in five years. The first time I fought him, 14 to 15 times, he Muay Thai kneed me in the face. Oh, good knee to the head! In my sport, you make one mistake, the fight could be over. Vanderlei Silva does it again! You know, I kind of left pride. I was unhappy over there and stuff like that, so just, I just took off. WFA was this organization that was up and coming, so I went there and I fought for them. They are just going toe-to-toe! -to -toe. <laughs> Shortly after that, the UFC purchased their rights and their fighters, and, and that's how I become to be a UFC fighter. I train as if my life depended upon it. I train like I was going to die in that cage. Basically, pretty much eat, sleep, train. It's like it's feel like you have no life for two months, two and a half months. When we spar, it's harder than a fight. And if you don't prepare right and your mind's not right, you can get hurt. I felt unstoppable. I felt like if they would have put a bull in the cage with me, I was going home with his horn. The rematch with Chuck, I felt I won that match even before I stepped in the cage. It is all over! That's the night I became the champion of the UFC. Quentin Rampage Jackson reigns supreme. Dan Henderson is one of the toughest fighters out there. Huge left and right! It was a war. It was an all-out war. Vicious ground and pound from the top here. To unify the title for me was like the biggest accomplishment of my life. I felt like I made history. I used that to motivate me for my next training camp, for my next fight. I wouldn't call it personal, but Vanderlei Silva gave me two of the worst ass weapons I ever had in my whole life. Vanderlei is hoping to make it three in a row against Rampage. Vanderlei pushed me at the way in. I smiled because that's when I know that I was going to destroy him. Oh, one punch! Oh, that's it! This fight is over! He was out before he even hit the ground. The power in that finishing punch, absolutely lethal. UFC Undisputed 3, your move.